Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about books like always. My name is Arden. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. I make videos about books. I sometimes do videos about my life, but this is going to be a reading vlog. So if you like this kind of stuff, stick around. As for Chasing Red, I, I am currently loving it. When I, first, when, when I read the first chapter, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this. But... The second chapter redeemed itself, redeemed the entire book. I actually really like it. So uh, I'm going to continue today. Uh, it is currently 2 p.m. Uh, we also have Easter holidays tomorrow or the is it Easter morning? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> my family is religious and follows that. I just stick around, I guess. So um, I'm going to tune in later. It's half past eight. I didn't get any reading done. I did read a few pages, but that was it. So today I wasn't really that productive. I spent most of my day editing my makeup and books tag. And then I was on social media talking to you guys, which takes up a lot of my time. Not to mention that uh, it's Easter and I had to spend it with my family. I'm probably not going to get any reading done today. I feel tired. Or maybe before I go to bed, but I doubt it, so not the best day today. Hey guys, it's April 13, it's almost 10 p.m. And as you might have noticed, it's been a few days later. Uh, I haven't really been reading, but I am just heading to bed and I am now proceeding to read. So I wanted to just go to bed and go to sleep, but I'm thinking, what if I finish it today? What if I have like a... I don't know, a couple of hours of reading and don't go to bed until I finish this book. Because I haven't been reading that much this month. This month's been really slow for me. And I have to go get through this one and then I have to read Forget Me Not by Nicole B. She also wrote um, Forever Summer, the book that I really loved. Was it at the beginning of this year? Or, yeah, at the beginning of this year. So I have to read this book uh, to get to the arc of uh, forget me not which is something i'm so 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 excited about i'll see how things go but yeah mm, i'll check in a little bit later so this book has 387 pages i'm currently on page 144 um i plan on reading to page 200 i'm not going to finish this book today because i have a headache and i really feel like i'm gonna struggle I also had a headache yesterday. I have a toothache for some reason. I just, I, I constantly have headaches every single day and it's so bad. And I wanted to read you guys something from this book that just took my breath away. This is like one of the best, not corniest or cheesiest, but like one of the sweetest things I have read in a book in a long time. And let me read it to you. It's gonna be a dialogue. Stop brooding, Caleb fight back. Give me back your smiles because there is something wrong with the universe without them. That is so cute. Give me back your smiles because there is something wrong with the universe without them. That is so so sweet. I can't. My heart. So, yes, I am in my pajamas. Uh, I'm not planning on changing. I don't actually get ready unless I am filming a video and my skin is breaking out. Oh, I'm gonna hate editing this video. But I managed to read up until page 189. And today's goal is going to be hitting the page 300. And then hopefully tomorrow I can read the rest that sounds like a good plan it has 387 pages so i hope to read 100 pages today and then 100 pages tomorrow also my current thoughts on this book are um it's really intense and when it gets intense just like with prodigy by marie lu i 
either put it down until and wait for my nerves to cool or I keep going. I'm really loving it so far. I think it's really good. It's probably one of the best romance books that I've read so far. Uh, but it depends on the last part of the book, how it goes. Because I'm like 47% chap 47 in, according to my Goodreads. And um, I actually really like it. I really, really like it. But uh, I just, I really hope that the ending is good. Because I want to order the next book, which is always read. <laughs> myself that I'm gonna discuss this uh, book after I am finished reading but I just really wanna tell you what I think. So far I am really loving the dynamic between the two characters. I, I love that he is um, a fuckboy and she is so guarded but when they're together they bring out a different side of each other. I love that he is so caring and he is the one having to chase her rather than you know the other way around and she's like um really hard to get to know or hard to get close to I am really liking that dynamic because it's so not overdone like it's so rare to see a guy chasing a girl in, in romance books even though they're they come from different backgrounds they can relate to each other still so this book is the cutest thing to ever happen the lines in here are so cheesy and so cute I I can't I can't So it's 6.30 and I'm on page 263. This is how much I read today. My goal for today is to read to page 300. I don't know if I said that. Or to chapter 28. So I have to read this much. I'm not going to read. I'm going to write for spring break because I have other things to do other than reading. Like I don't have time to just read all day, every day. I have Wattpad, I have YouTube, I have school, I have you know, everything else. Pets. Oh my gosh, my pets need to be fed. <sighs> I'm getting stressed out because I know that I have so many things I want to do, but nothing's getting done. Because when I get too stressed out and I have so many things to do, I just usually end up doing nothing. But that's me. Now you know. It was snowing outside today and raining. And then it was sunny. I think it's sunny now too. just when I start typing my dog jumps down from the chair where she was sleeping and she wakes up and now I have to deal with her and I would have to feed her and now I have to stop writing I have so many distractions I want some time for myself it feels like having children how fun Hey guys, so my computer for some reason shut down, so I'm taking this as a sign from the universe that I should do more reading. I just updated spring break, so I'm on schedule with writing. Um, but before I do so, I'm gonna actually put on some coconut oil in my hair. My scalp has been really dry, so let's talk about chasing red while I do this. I have a few notes here. Where are they? Oh, here. Uh, I feel like a lot of people 
start reading that book and uh, see the Wattpad logo. They have a preformed opinion on it uh, before they start reading it. And uh, I've seen like a lot of reviews saying that I knew this book was bad even before I started it, but I started it anyway. Like don't start a book if you have a preformed, preformed opinion. If you think you're gonna hate it, then don't read it. I don't know why you make yourself go through that. Give it a chance. That just pisses me off. Like every Wattpad book feels like they're fighting a battle that they are kind of losing just because they're a Wattpad book. People just assume it's bad. Like Wattpad books get such a bad rep. And because it's trendy to hate on a Wattpad book. It's trendy. J let's jump on a hate train just like we did with Taylor Swift. Just like we did with, you know everybody like Justin Bieber or One Direction or I don't see that much hate for BTS but you know what I mean there's like it's trendy to hate on someone I don't get why spreading negativity is so popular but with that being said I, I did start this book not knowing what it was about I didn't want to know oh by the way I also read the comments like oh I hated the first chapter and then after that I didn't pick it up because it was so bad and I'm and I and this book sucks like, you just read the first chapter, and the book sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I doing this to myself? I make myself look like an idiot in every single one of my videos. So, this book is fast-paced, but slow enough for things to still make sense. There is a timeline to things, and that's what I like, because everything makes sense. But it, it's not dragging. You know, you have these two point of views. Uh, you have our main character's point of view, Red's point of view, or Veronica's. Her name is Veronica, but he calls her Red. And you have Caleb's point of view. And you always know which one is which, even if you, you know, don't read Caleb or Veronica. He is such a fun character, but he's also, like, really caring. And then you have her who is, ev who is guarded all the time. Am I... Oh my gosh, I'm putting so much oil in my hair. I've never put this much oil in my hair. I'm just trying to distract myself. This is gonna be ugh, bad. I also have to say, this book does have, I guess, insta-love. But it doesn't feel like insta-love at all. You know, it's love at first sight. But it's kind of like a slow burn love at the same time. They are attracted to each other, but it's taking them time. Kara, the, the, our main character's best friend, is also um, Caleb's best friend's ex. So Caleb's best friend dated Kara. Both of them do have some beef as well. And they're not just there, you know, just to look pretty. They're actually kind of useful and drive the story in their own way. And I feel like w with everything happening with uh, Kara and you know, Cameron, Caleb's best friend, I feel like their actions and what happens to them affects Veronica. Know how I rate Wattpad books a little bit higher? Even if it wasn't a Wattpad book, this book would be a five-star read for me just because I enjoy it. I like cheesy romances like Anna and the French Kiss. I like um, something that makes me smile and that's so easy to read. I like the characters that are funny um, and just, you know, get along well. I'm still waiting to get to the plot twist and something bad to happen. If the ending ruins this book for me, I'm gonna be really, really, really sad. Good morning, everybody. It's April 15th. Uh, it is 10.30 in the morning. And to be honest, I stopped reading Chasing Red yesterday after 312 pages. So, I got to page 312, which is 12 pages more than I expected to read. Um, and then I started Forget Me Not, which is an arc by Nicole B that I got from the author because she is absolutely amazing, such a sweetheart, such an angel. And I got so excited to read that. Um, when we were when, when she asked me if I was interested in her book, I told her, send it to me. It's not even a question. I loved her book Forever Summer. I read the first chap chapter so far and I already wanted to cry. <laughs> Uh, and now I'm taking my medicine for uh, allergies because I'm allergic to dust and I'm allergic to, um, you know, whatever is outside, like seasonal allergies. And I also have a parrot that is a dusty parrot. Um, it's a cockatiel and they are known to be one of the species that has dust in their feathers. And the dust is there to prevent them from getting um, soaked. Other 
birds have oils. So that was a wise choice to buy a dusty parrot when I have dust allergies, which is why they're not in my room as well. The plan for today is to finish reading Chasing Fred, which means that that would be the end of this vlog, basically. Because it's been going on for too long. I just don't have the time to read Chasing Red. I have been trying to write an essay for a month and a half. And I only have three paragraphs for school. By the way, environmental science. So if anyone wants to write it for me, I'd be very grateful. <laughs> um, but the good news is I have 75 pages to read this part. So that's going to be cool because it's going to be really fast. There was a slight twist. But it's just not as bad as I not hoped. I didn't hope it for it to be as bad. I'm reading it slow just because I'm terrified that it's gonna be bad. But um, I'm, I'm just scared that my ship won't sail. That is my biggest problem. If it won't sail, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw myself out the window. Not this book, I love it too much. I'm gonna throw myself out the window. I not only have to read this book and then move on to Forget Me Not, I'm also behind on my... Goodreads like schedule reading schedule because I was supposed to read um the cruel prince this week and then uh die tea ne next week so that the last week I can have free that I can read something I want because right now all of these books I'm not like I was reading so much in March but in April everything slowed down I don't know what's wrong with me I just I have so much to do not to mention I have to reply to at least like 40 people on Instagram and that's taking me a while my inbox is full and I also have to do schoolwork <sighs> it's bad it's bad I am doing well but I'm getting stressed out so yeah okay I I have to I have to go start reading I'm gonna deal with everything else later reading <laughs> Oh my gosh, I remember how the last chapter ended. Oh my gosh, no, I'm not okay. Again, this was supposed to be de-stressing for me. It's, it's causing me even more stress. I did it. I read Chasing Red. I finished it. It was so cute. It was so sweet. The ending, the twist, wasn't as bad as I, as I thought it would be. And that is a good thing because it was, if it were as bad as I thought, I would probably DNF the book because I can't handle the intensity and the feels. And um, the twist was okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked the twist. It was it was a good twist. And the ending was... Oh, we have one of the worst villains. She just makes my blood boil. I am so angry at her. But the story... I just I love where it where it's going because now we're gonna have the character development like our main character is so scared of trusting people and she just needs a push if you see my energy is really down right now um this is why I don't film all the time my youtube videos I do have energy most of the time but Sometimes I just don't, so I don't tend to film on those days where I just don't feel like filming. Mm. But yeah, Chasing Rat was good. It was, it's a five-star book. Thank you guys so much for watching this Chasing Red vlog, I guess. it's It took me a long time to read because I wasn't in a reading mood and I didn't have time and I have so many things to do. So now I'm gonna go do those things and I'll see you in my next video which I don't really know what it's gonna be, but sorry, I'm really tired. I just, I wanna, after reading a book, I just wanna go to sleep. Reading really makes me relax my body and relaxes me and I'm just chilling right now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>